Hey everyone, this is Lindy from Love Create Celebrate and I'm excited to be showing you how to cut wood on the Cricut Maker. Today I'm showing you how to do a couple of wooden holiday decor pieces including this cute Christmas tree ornament. Um, so stay tuned and I hope you like the project. This post was sponsored by Cricut so that I could show off their newest member, the Cricut Knife Blade. I'll start by showing you how I made the stocking letters and there'll be a link to all the design space files below. I started by choosing a font that I liked in the Cricut Design Space, and then in order to have the letters hang on the stockings, I needed to create little holes for them. To do that, I created a tiny circular shape using the circle icon on the left side panel. Then I placed the circle in the top left hand corner of my letter, highlighted the circle and the letter, and then clicked the slice button. The slice feature allows you to cut that shape right out of your existing design. Once all of your letters have holes in them and are the right size, you can click make it. The balsa wood I was cutting was only a couple of inches wide, so when I got to this preview page I needed to rearrange my letters so that they fit within the width of the balsa wood, and so that they were sitting in the exact spots that the balsa wood was sitting on my Cricut mat. Now you can connect to your Cricut Maker machine and search for the wood material that you're using. At this point you also need to make sure that all of the white stars on your rotating bar on the Cricut machine are all pulled to the right hand side. This prevents it from denting or marking up the wood. When you're ready, hit go on your Cricut Maker machine and watch your knife blade in action cutting that balsa wood. So this is the real time speed of the Cricut knife blade. It's not super fast, but it does a beautiful job of cutting the wood. For my design and the thickness of my balsa wood, it also went over the design seven times. So it took a little while for it to finish cutting out all my wooden letters. Here's a quick view from above just so you can see exactly what's going on with that knife blade. It rotates smoothly and cuts beautifully along all of the edges of these letters, including the rounded edges. When the knife blade is finished, you can eject your mat and then carefully peel the letters right off of your strong grip cutting mat. Now I'll show you how to make that beautiful tree ornament. If you want to make the same one that I designed, you can open the Design Space file in the comments below. Once you have the Design Space file open, go through the same steps of connecting your Cricut Maker machine and choosing the wood material that you're using. And don't forget to rearrange your design on the preview page so that it fits where your balsa wood is going to be sitting on your mat. Once again, just press go and watch the Cricut do its thing. I absolutely love that the Cricut can cut wood now. I have so many great wood projects floating around in my head and I can't wait to share more of them with you guys. When the cutting's all done, simply remove the excess wood from your cutting mat and you'll have a couple of beautiful new ornaments. Finally, since we are cutting wood, you can choose to stain them if you like and I'm going to show you how I did that with these stocking letters. I wanted my letters dark so I used my favorite black gel stain from Minwax and you should wear gloves for this process, I'm sorry that I did it in the video, but all you have to do is put some stain on a shop cloth or a paper towel and gently rub it on all of the exposed wood. Generally, the longer you leave the stain on or the more coats you apply, the darker it will get. When you've finished applying your stain, you can use a clean cloth to rub off any excess stain as well. So that's all there is to cutting wood on your Cricut Maker. I was so excited to use this knife blade and I couldn't be happier with how these two holiday projects turned out. I hope you get the chance to try out the knife blade for yourself soon too. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Hey guys, if you enjoyed those wooden projects, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I would love to have you watching along and as always, stay tuned for more great DIYs and tutorials.